want to thank all of you for all that you have done during this pandemic. I really appreciate all of those who have made sacrifices. I know we're marching today, but let me also tell you what today is too, and we've got to be reminded of this. Today is May Day. What is right. May Day? May Day! So we've got to stand up for workers and unions and immigrants in this country, okay? And we will not be divided by that. And we will not allow anyone to use the pandemic as an excuse to trample on the rights of immigrants and undocumented workers and immigrants. It's important that we legalize and create a pathway to citizenship for all of those individuals who are now in the shadows. I don't know about you, but I see them, we see them. They were essential during this pandemic and they're essential today. Listen, we all know that the war on drugs has for far too long been a war on poor people and people of color, right? advocated for the legalization of adult recreational use of cannabis because I believe it is a social and racial and a criminal justice issue. If you believe that it is a social and racial and a criminal justice issue, make some noise! In many states all across this country, recreational use has been legalized and arrests have plummeted by a large percentage. And they are our sons, our daughters, our brothers, our neighbors, and they're mostly men of color. And these young men are punished for this behavior that others seem to turn a blind eye to for people of other races and other socioeconomic statuses. And that's not right. my friends, it's not enough to right those wrongs. It's not enough to right those wrongs. We cannot assume that changing the law to legalize cannabis will be enough to deliver the justice and opportunity that we hope it will bring. It's a good start, but we need more. Make no mistake. Legalizing rec recreational cannabis means more money for our states. But, but, legalized cannabis in those states that have legalized it have seen significant increases in their revenues. But we, because this is a state that believes in equality and justice and equity, we've got to provide opportunities for everyone. Everyone. Damn right. Particularly people who have been locked out of the sunshine of opportunity for far too long. It's important that we focus on communities that have been devastated by this war on drugs. And New York has indeed come a long way. We used to be the marijuana arrest capital of the world. I don't think you heard me. New York was once the marijuana arrest capital of the world. And so, if you believe in justice like I do, then those individuals who are most harmed by the war on drugs, that must be part of the new economy. They must be part of the new economy. And we must provide access to everyone, especially communities of color that have felt the impact of law enforcement in this country and in this city and in this state. So I hope that you would join me. I hope that when we begin the discussion about this legislation, when we pass regulations, that everyone, that all people are at the table of power and that we again have a conversation with all of those banks and because individuals who obviously want to take opportunity, want to take advantage of this opportunity, can't just walk into a bank and ask for a loan, right? Because cannabis on the federal level 
is still treated as a Schedule One drug under the Federal Controlled Substance Act. Bullshit! So banks will not issue loans to those looking for startup funding. It's unfortunate, but it's a federal issue, and we've got to focus on the federal government to ensure that they change the laws so that everyone can take advantage of these, of these issues. Improve the MORE Act! And so, we have to work together on ladders of opportunity so that everyone who wants to participate in the industry, we got to educate individuals. We've got to be change agents in our communities. And of course, we all got to work together to again lift up all boats and leave no boat behind. So let us all stand together, create opportunities, and focus on justice, and make this legislation an opportunity for equalizing all individuals. I thank you for this. I look forward to working with all of you and on to offer economic mobility and opportunity for all communities. Thank you so much.